Panasonic's vision to rethink and integrate video production with Kairos aligns perfectly with Skahoy's goal to be agile and offer unprecedented possibilities. Kairos is a highly flexible video switcher and it truly unleashes creativity. While we have an integration, a so-called device core for Kairos, the platform itself now supports raw panel and Skahoy controllers natively within Kairos Creator. And this means you can easily use Kairos Creator to set up your Skahoy controller and unlock even more features from Kairos. And that's what we will explore in this video. Raw panel means that the panels, and now we have here a master key one and master key 48. These panels, they are not trying to connect to anything. They are in fact just waiting for Kairos to connect to them. And when Kairos does so, it is the responsibility of Kairos to populate the displays and put colors on the buttons and also to decide what happens when you press a button. So right now you can see these panels are just lighting up in white. It says waiting for raw panel. So it's waiting to be connected to. And there's also a little disclosure of the IP address in each of these cases, which means that I could type in that and show you what is the UI looking like from the master key one and the master key 48. And it looks like this. If you're used to seeing our products in action, you will notice that we don't see Reactor in the menu up here. Reactor is the software we usually use to connect to something, but here we are just running Hardware Manager and it is listening for connections from the outside. And that's sort of unusual. This is what happens in raw panel mode. And the same is true for the Master Key 48. So what I want in this video is to show you how Kairos Creator, and that's the UI we are looking at here, can find these panels. So you will enter into Mixer, into the menu, choose Setup here, and in System Settings, which is where you probably end up by default, you see Raw Panel section is now added to Kairos 1.7. And all you basically need to do is to push the Enable button, and if the IP address is as the system expected, whatever you typed in here and the port number, it will connect. And you see that is now true for the master key one. The cool thing is they already prepared, the Kairos team prepared the ability to extend with the master key 48. So you will just choose this combination and now you have the IP address field open for both of them. And as you now select the enable switch, you'll see that both panels are now being populated with sources. So that's how easy it is. That's really, really cool. Very, very nice. And now the way the panels work will be solely dependent on how you configure it inside of Kairos Creator. So let's take a look at that configuration. So inside of uh, here, we will simply go to config. And inside of config, where you normally see your Kairos large panel, the compact panel, and you know that you could basically in one of these, uh, go down here, you could uh, like for the transition section or any of for the deck, you can um, pull up different pre settings that you can uh, populate onto these keys and just change that around. You can do the same if you go to raw and then for instance, select this one and bring that one up. We can now change what you see on these buttons on the panel. Let's try it out. So if we choose PowerPoint instead, you'll see that immediately we have a different population of features on the main um, delegation keys here. And we can just walk through and quickly you can see different things that you probably, if you're a Kairos user, you already know what all this means and uh, how you use this normally. And you see that principle of assignment and configuration that you already know from Kairos Creator is now brought to you for the Skahoy panel using the raw plan protocol. Okay, so let's just go back to main here and leave it at that. And of course you can do the same for the transition section. So the way they have done this is to basically divide the panel or the panels because they are now to be there. But it, it's, it's fair enough to call it a panel because our vision is that this is a a combo device where you can basically take them apart from each other, but you can also connect them like that. And now it is like one big panel. And this is what the Kairos creator is honoring as well. And you can do that same thing for the transition section over here. So that's basically what you get. 
let's see how this works in uh, in in real life. So I want to go to uh, the mixer control section, and uh, you'll see there's a full correspondence between what's currently happening on my um, uh, visual view here in in the uh, team viewer session, and what is happening on the panel itself. Now, if I bring up a multi viewer, you can also see that uh, I am selecting preview sources on the lower rows and uh, I am selecting directly to program here and I can of course use my cut key to make a cut between these two. The upper rows up here can also be um, assigned within uh, KRS Creator. Right now we only see one of them, we see the top row of buttons, but if you want the uh, KRS Creator itself to, uh, to uh, reflect the second row that you have, it's um, something you will know that you are doing by going up here and then You'll just pick this layer instead, and now you see the second row of buttons in the software UI if, uh, if you want to do that. One of the features that has been most requested for the KRS integration is to be able to do the, um, the way sources are, are distributed on the panel inside of the software. And if we go to, uh, to config, no wait, that's not configuration, sorry. If we go out here to scenes, and then you go to the background, right click on this one and you uh, use source options and edit those. One of the popular things would be to put in a, um, a little um, space in the setup. Now, we already have a space somewhere and let me see, it is right here. But now uh, it's, it's very visual what's happening. If I push this one up, you can see now the space is moved to, uh, to this location. I could add another space here and now we have two spaces and if I move that down, it jumps over and it puts itself right here. So that's one example. We can also put in macros. So uh, adding a macro is now a matter of um, just picking it from here, adding it to the list. And then the macro is gonna pop up right here in the flow of the things that you're seeing. So we have space, we have sources um, here, we have another space, we have demo on, and we'll just add the macro demo off. And then we have that right here. We can now add another space if we want. Another space before we continue with the scenes display uh, um, folder of uh, sources. So let's just test this one out by shifting over to our multi viewer. And now we can now turn on um, the, the demo basically. And uh, we can also um, use the demo uh, for uh, turn demo off on, on the preview here. And um, of course, if we turn it off, we are back to just normal uh, cut rows functionality on the KRAS. Guys, that's the main message. That is in this new version of KRAS, we are proud to see the partnership with Panasonic having basically uh, expressed itself in this native support of our panels inside of KRAS so that you can use that powerful engine that you are already used to to configure your Skyhoy panels directly inside KRAS Creator. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. You can also follow us on social media. You can subscribe to our newsletters. You can get updates that way. We have Facebook, Instagram, we have X channel. You can also find links to all these things below in the description. And anytime you wish to reach out, we have a wonderful sales and support team who are so passionate to help you.